Okay, so today's card sketch is an interesting one. I mean, from the perspective of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and, of course, wanting, of course, running my business, wanting to sell, obviously, stuff that is current um, and may no longer be available. So, for example, these ovals are no longer available. So I'm going to do something a little bit different for that. But I'm going to pull in, again, this Expressions in Ink um paper this gorgeous new paper and i'm going to pull in the stamp set which is this artistically inked it's just a gorgeous um stamp set this um this technique is called um uh, it's using alcohol inks now stampin up does not sell alcohol inks i don't know whether they'll get into that market or not i mean there are lots of other companies that sell alcohol inks I personally have never played with alcohol ink, so I'm not quite sure what they do. But um, Stampin' Up! just decided, I guess, to use some when they designed this paper. Now, I know this technique, and I'm actually going to be showing this technique uh, during a Paper Pumpkin um, online session um, if people purchase the Paper Pumpkin kit coming up. So you can get um, that kit uh you have to subscribe by June 10th. And if you don't want to subscribe, which I can understand, a lot of people don't want to subscribe, even though you can subscribe for one month or subscribe as a continuing subscription and cancel whenever you want or skip a few months, whatever you want. It's a really, really flexible subscription. But you can order a kit from me, but I have to put the order in before June 10th. And then I'm going to do a Zoom session where we make the cards and make some alternative projects with it. And I want to show you how to do this alcohol ink technique. So um, you have to have alcohol markers in order to do it and, and alcohol. Vodka doesn't work. <laughs> um, okay, so that's enough about that. So I thought with the dies, look at these dies. They're just gorgeous. These are the dies that come with the kit. So you can cut out... All the flowers and the leaves and then there's this little cluster of three flowers here and um, these just make beautiful images and then you've got this gorgeous flourish I've seen people cut this out with gold foil and then you've got this cluster which I'm going to use today and um, I'm going to actually start I'm really bad at remembering to use what are called our adhesive sheets so it's paper that is two-sided um, no, that one side has adhesive on it. So what you do is you cut a piece of cardstock. So this is my basic white cardstock. You cut it the same size as your piece of adhesive sheet. So this is the adhesive sheet here. And you peel off the top layer and then you stick the cardstock down on it. So this cardstock is now stuck to this sheet here. Then you cut it out. So you run it through your machine. I've cut it out already and I'm going to peel it apart and I'm going to show you how that works. And then because it's in Whisper White, or sorry, I'm still saying Whisper White. When am I going to get that straight? Basic White. Um, I'm going to color it. I'm just going to sponge over it to give it some color. So that's what I'm going to do today. A little bit of a technique. Okay, so let's go back to the sketch. Who's crafting this morning? I bet Carol's crafting. She always crafts. Um, okay, so here is the card sketch. So I've decided to go with my, I wanted to do this piece here that's three and a half by three inches. I wanted to emboss this. So I pulled out an embossing folder and embossed this little piece. And on top of this, I'm going to put this piece here, this beautiful floral flourish colored on top of that. Um, then I so I decide to pull in more white so this is my card base here and then this is my layer with the alcohol ink pattern on here um, okay so let me pull in my scoreboard and let's cut this or not cut sorry I'm gonna score this at four and a quarter Okay. I'm going to pull in my bone folder. Oh, the 
because the edges are good here. Sometimes I like to check my edges. Okay. And then this is going to be glued on the top. Okay, so before I, I glue anything, I want to get the card designed um, in case I want to change anything. All right, um, and then this is going to go on top here. And then it looks like there's a band one by four. So along with this paper is this sheet that has more alcohol inking. And then look at this. It's got these gold brushed stripes, which are so pretty. So I'm going to, this is one by four. So this I know is already four inches. So I, I, always, I always cut my 12 by 12 in four inch strips. So I'm just going to cut this down to one inch. So there's my gold stripe. Okay, so now I don't know. Let's see. This will go across like that. And this could just tuck right like that. Like that. Or I could put this kind of on. I think I might layer it a little bit on top. Like that. And then the flourish is going to go on top. Now there's no greeting it says on here, but you could add a greeting. This is a really simple design, I think. Okay, let's see how this works out. Um, so what you do, I've cut it out already, so I'm just going to release it from the whole sheet. I don't want to. Um, I don't want the um, adhesive to be peeled away yet. I just want to get this off of here. So I'm going to be a bit gentle with it. There are some intricate pieces. I did this adhesive uh, paper, the, um, I don't know, plastic backing or whatever it is, is quite thick. So I did run it through twice just to make sure. And I've got this one piece in here caught. That's the only piece to release there. Where is that caught? Right there. My goodness, of all the pieces that didn't, oh, there we go. Okay, just have some patience. Okay, so see, this is the cardstock, and then this is the adhesive sheet. So see what happens when you peel this off, this is all sticky now. So it's just a great way for intricate dies. Okay, so what I need to do for this now I'm going to try, this is going to be a bit tricky, I think, with the adhesive. I don't know if I can pull those pieces out or not. I want to get rid of the dye now. So let's get rid of this. Okay, now a lot of this already came out. So I might poke these things out. Um, well, let's just see if I can poke them out from the back here. I might poke them out once the adhesive is off. Okay. So, um, I'm hoping these are all cut through. I think they are. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this Let's just see how this turns out. I'm hoping I'm not going to make a big mess here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my sponges. And I'm going to... I could use my blending brushes, but I think I'm going to use my sponge daubers. Um, because, um, let's see, what greens do I want to use here? I think I'll use, um, I 
I'm hesitating here because we've got our new in colors and I haven't yet, um, I don't have any more little daubers. Do I have any clean ones here? Yes, I washed these, these are clean. Okay, so, but I need more than one. This will do for pink. Okay, so I'm gonna pull in our new color. I want to use this um, soft succulent color. Okay, now when you do sponge daubing, you just you're gonna tap it on your sponge. Well, good morning, Lena. Yes, Christine, you can wash the daubers. Um, I mean, it's easier if you have a whole set of daubers. Now, this I bought on Amazon, actually. You can buy a box filled with daubers. Um, we sell the daubers. We sell them in packs of five, but we don't sell this tray. And I thought this tray was great because then I've put all of my, all of my colors on here. Um, these are the basic co four family colors that I have. I don't have the in colors on here. We have another set of 10 in colors, so I should get another box and put those in. But um, then it's just easier, right? And then I just used my my um, Dymo gun and I made these little labels on here. Yeah, but every now and then I just, you know, if I have to use an in color, I'll just have a couple of spare daubers and you can wash them. They'll stain, but you can wash them. Okay, oh, I've already done this with green. Okay, so you're going to just dab it on, and then what I like to do is just dab a little bit off the sponge, and then I'm just going to go over um, where the leaves are. And I'm hoping I can punch these things out. We'll see. This might turn out to a, into, this might turn into a big hot mess. I don't know. Now we've got these other little stems here. Here's another leaf. And I don't care that I overlap onto the flowers. Oh, here's some big leaves here. Just try and daub, you know, where you see leaves. I'm hoping when I take off the adhesive backing that those little pieces will come out. Okay, any more leaves? These, I'm not sure what color to make these. I might do them in a little bit of a brown color. So I might do them in, let's see, I've got soft suede here. I'm going to see if there's enough ink on here. There is. So I'll just do these in a bit of a brown color, like they're twigs or something. Okay. Now we've got this gorgeous rose here, and we've got a couple of other little flowers here. So these I might do in... Let's see, let's do these in yellow. Do I have enough yellow on here? Yeah, see, when you use your daubers, you might have ink left over, and you can twist them. Oh, I missed a little brown um, twig here. And um, yeah, so these are the flowers. Okay, and then, um, so saffron, let's put soft suede away. And for the um, rose, let's see, maybe we'll do flirty flamingo. Let's see if there's enough on here. So really, I don't know if you're noticing, but what you're coloring, like all these center bits are gonna pop out, right? So I'm coloring, you know, more than I need, but I thought it was easier to color while the pieces are in there but I could have you know popped all those pieces out now if you have a silicone craft mat this is an old crappy one that I have um, but if you have a silicone craft mat then I suppose I could peel off the adhesive and stick it on here because it won't stick permanently and do it that way Okay, now I'm gonna pull down my ink because I think I want a bit of darker um, color in the middle of that rose. Okay. 
like that, okay? Um, okay, now we have this big sort of daisy thing. I think I'm going to color it too because I've got some overlap. So I think I'll make it, let's see, let's bring in, um, where's that brown again? Soft suede. I'm going to do the center of this daisy like that. And then let's do the flower. Um, maybe we'll make a blue daisy. Let's do a uh, coastal cabana. And I think, so these are my, my spare daubers. So I will wash those up later. Um, you don't need soap or anything. Just, I put them underwater and I keep squeezing it. Um, so I'm going to close the cabana here. So I noticed your uh, comment, Carol. I, I wouldn't do that because I think your foam will get affected. You don't want your foam to get scratched up. So I just use my finger and I keep pushing and squeezing. I don't think that I would use a toothbrush for that. Okay, let's ink up this daisy here. Sometimes it's fun doing stuff like this. You don't know how it's going to turn out. Usually it's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I'm hoping that's what's going to happen today. I'm hoping I get a pleasant surprise. Okay, and I'm going to try and go darker just around the circle. Okay. I think we're good enough, ladies. Let's see what happens when we... So I should probably put my card together because once I take that backing off, I want to be able to stick that down. Let's put that pad away. Put this pad away. Put this pad away. I'm just going to rub my fingers on my old jeans here. Okay, so we're going to glue... So I'm going to grab my silicone mat and I'm going to tape this down. So today is the last day for our spring mini, our mini catalog that went from January to the end of May. And then all of those items will be retiring, other than the ones that are carrying forward into the annual catalog. Today is also the last day to sign up with Stampin' Up! and get an absolutely amazing deal with tons of new products. So even if you don't want to be a demonstrator, it's a great deal. And then you can just, you've got three months to keep buying for 20% off and then if you don't want to do it anymore you can just lapse your membership absolutely nothing to lose by joining you get a whack of new stuff and a lot for free okay so that's going to go like that I don't know maybe I'll lift it higher okay and now let's play with this thing. So I'm going to, I don't know what else do I want on here. I think it'll look amazing once this is on here. I don't think I need much more. Okay, so let's just commit these. And we'll see what happens. Oh, you do it lightly. Okay, well, when you use the word scrub, I always think of, you know, scrubbing pots. <laughs> okay, 
So we'll put this on like this. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this on top. Like so. Okay, let's bring this in and see what we can do. So, I'm going to find where I can peel off the backing. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. See how it's pulling off the unwanted pieces? Wow, look at that, you guys. It's pulling off most of the pieces. Look at that. So there will just be... A few more pieces that you need to take out and they should come out pretty easily look at that look at all of those pretty well are gone Wow now the only thing is when they come off if they go back to the back they're gonna stick there it's okay. There's a little one here. So not too fiddly. I'm pretty pleased with that. How that worked out. It helps to hold this over a dark surface so you can see. There's a few in here. stuck to the back and I can't see it so that's okay see how some of them are stuck to the back but if you can't see them from the front I think they're okay so a little bit of persnickety persnickety work Okay, now we've got these little tiny, I don't know if these are going to pop out easily. See, they're all stuck to the back. If they're stuck to the back and they don't shoot it they don't show through the front I'm not worried okay I think this is good enough so I don't know um, I started by saying I forget to use these adhesive sheets but I think um, I don't know I could have easily probably glued this to you know my method where I take my liquid glue, I just put a little bit on my silicone mat and I use a Q-tip. I think I could have glued this versus the silicone sheet because like you're seeing now, trying to get these little pieces out and then they get stuck is a bit annoying. But I wanted to try them again and see.
Have any of you used adhesive sheets? Christine, have you done them? Or Barbara? Okay, I'm just scraping these off of my fingernail. Okay, I think we're good. God, I'm going to end up with a big mess here to clean up. That's okay. Now I throw this out. All right. It's all stuck to my fingernails. Okay, so. Yeah, see, they're stuck everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if I'll use these adhesive sheets again. Now that I look, I don't know. Now it's going to go over the gold. I'm not sure. Um, this pink will look better on the gold, so we're okay. I think we'll see if we're going to like this project or not. So I'm just going to put this silicone sheet on top and press it down. Oh my goodness. I want to make sure none of these get on my floor because they won't vacuum up if they're stuck to the floor. I just got a brand new vacuum for my craft room. It's a stick vac, but it's really powerful. It's for cat hair. So if it picks up cat hair, I'm sure it'll pick up paper. Um, Because I do get lots of bits everywhere. Anyway, I'll clean up this mess afterwards. All right, so let's look at our card. So you have them, but haven't used them yet. I actually forgot I had them. Yeah, see, I forgot too. I think, um, I mean, they're made for these intricate dyes, right? This is pretty intricate, so I might not have used it on this, but there's other dyes that are, you know, partially solid and intricate, so they, it might be great for that. I don't know. I think, see, like this one, imagine doing this one. Look, I think I'd rather just use my Tombow glue on that. The adhesive sheets are just like really sticky. See, and they're stuck everywhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm not a fan. Maybe I'm not a fan. Um, okay, so there's kind of our card, but I think it needs something else. What do you think? I don't know if I like this gold behind there. I might make it again. I might I might do it again and use another maybe um another um coordinating piece of cardstock behind it or something. What do you think? What does it need? Too late to tie ribbon around it because that's you know the front of the card that's kind of well you can always wrap it around inside let's see um this is an old old um this came in a kit, I think, paper pumpkin kit, this um, twine. Let's see what happens if I add something to this card. I think it needs something. A sentiment strip, maybe, yeah. Maybe I'll do a sentiment strip, too. Sometimes I'm just all thumbs. I'm going to show you another little tip. I don't know if you know this tip, but when you're trying to tie particularly um, twine, well, ribbon too. You can do this with ribbon, obviously. So what I like to do is I take a glue dot, okay, and I kind of just roll it. In my finger so it's not around you know, a circle and then I just put it on the card and then I take and where my knots gonna be I glue it on stick it down okay then it's way easier to tie your bow what do you think of that tip did you know that tip your picture isn't clear, so it's hard to tell. Oh, looks okay for my end. 
Barbara. Sometimes it's your own personal internet connection that causes the issue. Um, okay, we're going to go with this now that it's stuck down. Okay, and I think I could unfray these edges to just twist it the opposite direction. And fray it a bit. I could also take my pokey tool and fray it. There you go. That's easier. There. Okay. That adds a little something. Now, how about a sentiment strip? Just a strip. So, in this um, stamp set, I don't have anything really skinny. I could do this happy birthday, maybe. How big is that? It's a pretty big happy birthday. Um, but I don't have another stamp set here available. So, let's try this out. Oh, that's too short. Yeah, it's a good tip with the glue dot, isn't it? Okay, so I have lots of these strips just lying around from cutting my cardstock. Make sure you keep some of those. Don't throw them out. Now, what color should we do this strip? I feel like I want to bring in that pink. Let's pull in that flirty flip figure. Um, in real life, Carol, the flowers are easy to see. So it might be just because you're looking at through the camera. I'll pull it up closer to the camera and see if you can see those flowers. Or maybe I'm, you know, my camera's too high up. But can you see them now? I think you can see them pretty well. Like to my eye, they're great. And it helps to have that white background in there. But I like the way it overlaps. Oh, good. You can see it now. That's good. Okay, let's try this happy birthday in this flirty flamingo. What do you think of that? Oh, I like it at the top, maybe. Or I can actually, maybe I'll overlap it. I think that turned out pretty good in the end. Where's the sketch? Let's pull the sketch back in. There's the sketch. So really, after you've done your card, unless you follow it absolutely exactly, um, it can look quite different. But the sketch is always a good starting point, right? So I will decorate my inside and decorate my envelope. I will use some of these other... Where, where are we at for time? Maybe I can do a bit of stamping now. Let's do a bit of stamping on the inside of the card. Um, oh, I had already stamped that, cut that out. Let's do this little flower on the inside with some leaves. And we'll do inside the card. Here's this green again for the leaves. And I'm going to use, um, I'll stick with this same color for So I'm just going to stamp this in the corner. And then I'm going to do some leaves. I love this stamp set, how it stamps. It's got a lot of detail in it. Oh, that was close. Okay. So happy birthday. And you could put, they have another one called, you could put best wishes in here. Best wishes. You could stamp this inside. Okay, I don't want to do the pink again. Maybe I'll do the green. Best wishes in the green. 
I have a, oh yeah, I'll take a green. Okay. So I'm going to pull this close to me so I can see, get my head over it. Best wishes. There we go. So I'll do the same flower on an envelope. I'm going to do the same thing. I should have kept my inks open. So I'm going to do the flower. Sometimes it's fun to do one on the flat too. So I like to open the flat because there's um, edges inside and it could interfere with your stamping so open up your flap let's do another flower on the flap okay Okay, so there's the flap, isn't that pretty? And then let's do the front of the envelope. Oh, who wouldn't love to get that in the mail? So pretty. Okay, ladies, there is your card sketch for this Monday.